This is a really pioneering stage of the programme. This is the first time that we've tested ETCS on an intercity main line. You know, previous projects such as the Northern City Line, Thames Link Core and Cambrian have been smaller, confined areas. So the density of the service, the amount of infrastructure is just not the same. This is a pioneering part of the programme. Right, so we're going to do an end of authority test up to that signal 2026. And there's a lot more functionality for us to deal with. So the scope of our testing is a lot broader than it would have been previously. Um, and a lot of that additional functionality, it's going to be the first time it, it would have been tested anywhere in the UK. Previously, all we've done is we've parked the train in one position and we've just checked to make sure that we got the correct indications in the cab. This time, we're now moving the train around and we want to see, make sure everything works as, as planned, basically. When it goes right, it's good. When it goes wrong, sometimes it's not so good. However, that's what we're here to do. We're here to test the system. And when things do go wrong, you know, there's, there's a plan in place to correct these type of things. It's absolutely fascinating, it's completely outside of what we do as, normally do as drivers so we have to be a little bit bespoke, be flexible in our approach to that and also so that we're doing things that we wouldn't normally do so because we need to test to make sure the system in itself is working correctly. My role for tonight, I'm basically the technical support for this um, testing. It's interesting to see because I do work with ETCS but not on 717s um, we're developing it for 387s at the moment, but it is good to see it working in action. It is a big deal um, in regards to progressing forward. It's exciting to be out on these trains. I think, you know, the first time that we set a movement authority and we moved, and the first time that we saw uh, the sun rise over our test train, that was exciting to be there on the first train. First of all, you've got a good team. You need good communications all the time between contractor, network rail, and all the other parties involved. If that's not there, then it's guaranteed to fail. Uh, luckily, at the moment, things are going well. There's a long way to go. Uh, how can I put it? So far, so good. <laughs> yeah, so that test was all successful. So um, we just require a route now all the way down to... Massive learning curve. There's a lot of lessons learned sort of for us to sort of move forward on when it's hitching as well as all the various different tranches on the East Coast Digital Programme. This is not just GTR. Um, whilst GTR and Siemens staff here, we've all got the experience of Thames Link Core and Northern City Line, that we're bringing the lessons learned into well into Hitchin, and we're, we're, we're setting the direction for the other operators who are going to come in and test all the other train types. Class 43, Class 180, testing at 125 mile an hour. There's freight locos testing in, in going in and out of sidings. All the other operators, it's really exciting that that will be happening over the next year or so. For myself, it feels almost like the changes that happened when they moved from steam trains to diesel trains. It's a massive step change in the technology for the industry. And for myself, you know, to be part of a massive change and be part of the future of the industry is extremely exciting.